Aloha, it's Robert. Today we're gonna go over how to foil behind a boat, how to learn how to foil basically. And it's really good to do it behind the boat first to get the feel for it, get the feel for flying the foil before you try to go out in the waves. So I have my um, two staff members here, Luca and Tyler, who are gonna try it today for the first time. Before we get on the water, we're gonna go over a little bit of safety and you know how to do it and all that kind of stuff. So first of all, one thing that's really key before you start taking off on the foil is the foot placement. So, um, you know, this this is the, these are the two holes for the Tuttle um, box and like I like to use the back um, screw as a indicator where to put your back foot. So our back foot's gonna go right here and the board has a um, arch bar. So your foot should be kind of on top of the arch bar right over the screw and centered along the center line of the board. And then the front foot um, kind of close to the blue planet logo in the front and then also centered over the center line of the board. On a foil board, as soon as you're a little bit off balance, you gotta just bail out because the risk is that the, um, you know, if you try to catch yourself and you go too far, the foil will come right at you and you can either hit it like, you know, forward or fall backwards onto the foil. So you don't wanna get to that point where the, the foil is um, coming t towards you, you know. So as you can see, it, it can be dangerous, so it's a really good idea to wear an impact vest to protect your ribs, and then of course also a helmet, just for safety. Um, the foil or the board can hit you, so we do carry those at Blue Planet. Good idea to have that. For whoever's driving the boat, make sure you're um, really safe with the propeller. Using a jet ski is safer because you got a jet drive, but make sure you put that propeller neutral anytime someone gets close to it. And uh, you know, start real slow, it's good to start with a stand-up paddle board on the knees, just moving real slowly till they get up on their feet and put the feet in the right position. Then you can speed up a little bit until they get out of the wake and then slowly accelerate till they're able to lift. And you should never really go more than about 15 miles an hour. That's about the max. Starting on the stand-up board, we're gonna start on our knees, um, holding the rope, and then the signal is ready to go, right? Like you give, give the both the thumbs up. Uh, we're gonna slowly start at a low speed, and while while you're just moving slowly, you um you know you, you place your feet in the right spots, and you can you know before you lift up, you make sure your feet are exactly on the center line and exactly on top of the foil, and uh, holding the the, the tow line, you want to kind of have a relaxed um you don't want to have the arms straight out in front of you, you want to kind of keep it a little bit lower, keep your elbows bent. That way you can kind of adjust the amount of tension from the rope. And once uh, once you're up on the foil, it also, I kind of like to just hold it with one hand, you know. But the idea is, you guys are both regular foot, right? Or, yeah? Yep. Okay, so when you're regular foot, you basically, once you get up and you start moving, you want to kind of go to the left. So you're kind of um, getting out of the boat wake and to the left side of the boat. So starting on a stand-up paddle foil board is easier, but once they got the basics figured out, I put them on a prone board, which is trickier to start, but then easier to control once you're up on the foil. But I find on this really small board like this, the easier way to um, get up is um, just laying in the water and then, you know, putting your, your feet in the right spot and you're just gonna kind of hold the, the rail with one hand and then you got the tow line in the other hand and then, uh, you know, you can kind of give a thumbs up when you're ready to the boat with the, with this head. And then, um, sa same thing, we're going to kind of, you need a little bit of a pull, so you have to kind of, on the boat, I'm going to kind of start a little bit quickly to help you kind of, and you want to keep your, you want to keep your knees bent and, and just let the, the pull of the boat, boat pull you up. And then as you're, as you're getting pulled up, you, then you turn, turn your nose towards the board. So you're kind of starting. Um, sideways to the boat and then as you're coming up you, you turn the board towards the boat and then same thing you kind of want to get out of the wake of the bo boat um, and have that tension to the side and having a smaller board makes it easier to control the foil once you're up but it's a little bit harder to get it started you know so any questions we, we're gonna try to keep the, uh, the speed to a minimum basically we don't want to have too much speed um, you know, some of you think the faster you go, the easier it is to lift, but it's also, you know, it, the, the foil can lift too fast and it can be hard to control and so on. So what we're going to try to do is just ride, keep the board on the water, 
and then slowly, slowly, slowly um, come out, uh, come out, and lean a little bit back. And then as soon as you start feeling the lift, you kind of want to push it back down to the surface. So try that a few times, just lifting up and pushing it back down, lifting it up, pushing it back down. Okay, so the idea is to slowly, slowly come up. I'm keeping the boat speed pretty low on purpose so that Tyler actually has to lean a little bit against the rope to make it lift up. And, uh, and then as soon as he comes up, he, he's trying to keep it back down. What you want to avoid is coming up too high because as soon as a little bit of air gets over the foil, it'll lose all lift, it'll breach and you'll crash. So keep the foil underwater at all times. Don't bring it up too high like that. And uh, if you need more lift, like I said, just um, turn your board away from the boat. If you need less pull, turn it towards the boat. So what you can do is if you, if you feel like you're not going quite fast enough to lift, just kind of lean against the boat a little bit, increase the, the, the pull on the line by just leaning away from it and then slowly coax it up out of the water. And, and you know, keep your knees bent and also but keep your body upright and, and it helps to kind of have your stance a little bit squared off so that you got your shoulders kind of squared to the board. It makes it easier to balance and keep your weight front to back foot, you know. And lean on the, keep leaning on the front foot to keep the foil low lean on the back foot if you want more lift. And towing behind the boat, you end up being a little bit more on your back foot and kind of angling the foot up because we're trying to do it at low speed. So you have a little bit higher angle of attack to make the foot lift at a lower speed, but it's easier to control than if you go really fast and you're just kind of fighting to, to just keep the foot on the water. This was your guys' first time. You guys did great. What did you learn from, from this, your takeaways? One thing that I found that really helped me, especially once I was up on the foil and flying, was uh, when I make corrections, you know, if I find myself going up too fast or kind of going down too fast, is that I want to make the smallest corrections possible. Otherwise, it's really easy to just sort of overpower yourself and end up throwing yourself right off the board. Another thing that I found was, you know, as opposed to a normal surfboard where you just have the back and forth, the foil has more axes of movement. So you kind of need to be a little bit more balanced with your weight. You know, you get more weight on the front foot. And then you're also a little bit more upright and squared off than you would be with a normal surfboard, which is kind of a unique feeling. But once you get that, then it gets a lot easier to kind of finesse the board and keep yourself, you know, low and in control. All right, good. What about you, Tyler? Yeah, for me, steering was really an issue. I had to figure out to turn my foot off to the left on the axis of the mast to help the mast with an angle so that I could get outside of the wake. That was really where the smoothest water was and where I was able to find the most control. And if you're goofy foot, that would just be the opposite way, turning to the right. So really turning on the axis of the mast outside of the wake, staying low and in control, keeping my knees bent. That's where I was really able to control the altitude of the, of the foil. That's where I also struggled too, is you know, the foil would come up and too fast and I would fall off and the foil would catch too much altitude yeah yeah so it's real important to keep that pressure on the front foot and uh and not come up too quickly you know that's one of the main things all right thanks for watching everyone give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video we'll talk to you next time aloha aloha